those three points are the commonalities across every set of training zones that you'll ever see. Right. We have zone one is active recovery, which we use 56% of VO2 max or less. I'll, I'll keep that out of it just for now. That's like very rarely would I give someone zone one. It's basically a walk. Zone two is our really everything active recovery up to our VT1 that we talked about before. Zone three is VT1 to VT2. So yep. simple, it blocks all of our threshold, tempo, all of that race specific gray zone type stuff. It's really, really good for event specificity, but not great for aerobic adaptation. VT2 up to VO2 max is what we call zone four. So that's our predominantly our long interval, three minute, four minute, 95% of VO2 max type stuff we said. And then anything above 100% of VO2 max, we just term it as zone five because and it's an open-ended zone because it just depends on what what is our goal of that session. Is our goal to be better at um, uh, have a better VO2 max? We're doing 30 on 30 offs.